I'm going to go ahead and start. I am Michelle Chambers, and I am going to share with you this platform of Own Easy. This is called Own Easy because you can own a home the easy way, is what we're saying. Why is that? Because you can actually start with credit repair help if that's needed to get credit ready so that you can in turn be mortgage ready. So Own Easy, just mark my word, it's going to be a household name. If you haven't heard of it by now, I'm glad you're hearing about it at this point. Just so that we are not complete strangers, my name is Michelle Chambers. I am a real estate broker in Texas. I am a real estate agent in Alabama. I am a notary in Texas. I am a mortgage loan officer in all 50 states, and I'm formerly an educator for 30 years. So I got into this because I wanted to be able to add that mortgage loan officer piece to my real estate piece. So and that's kind of a one-stop shop for me. I can actually help people to get pre-qualified and then yes, take them shopping to get a home and then take them to the closing table. So I'm loving this platform. As I always like to start off with letting you know that just like anything else in life, you have to put something in to get something out. So if you're not willing to put anything into this program, you're not going to get anything out of it. But if you're willing to put a lot in, you can also get a lot out of this platform. So let's go and let's talk about this platform, how it can benefit you and your community and those even in other states. I love this program because of that. Our mission is 75% home ownership for all. The reason it says 75 for how all, you'll understand it a little bit more as I go through some of the other slides. I will be explaining that 75%, it'll make more sense. But if you happen to see hashtag 75 for all, that's what it's referring to. We're saying that our goal is 75% home ownership for everybody that is interested in being a homeowner. Our goal for the next five years is we want to have one million families to become homeowners in the next five years. So we're excited about this platform. We want people to become homeowners in the next five years. And of course, one million people, that means we need a lot of help. So what we're planning to do is a dispute debt and credit reporting areas. If there are some on there, we start off with credit repair if that's needed. And then we go all the way to the closing table. Well, also part of our plan is to get mortgage loan officers in place. And that's why we're on social media, letting people know, hey, are you interested in this platform? And then also we will be able to provide down payment assistance and financial education. And so with this platform, we want them to be able to get into a home and get into that home responsibly. I mentioned that we start off with credit repair, starting off at the very beginning. So let me kind of tell you a little bit more about that. Our credit repair program, it starts off Somebody gets into our credit repair program. It's not just credit repair. It's also a legal plan. So it's a lot more than this when it's involved. It's $149.90 to get started with this. And then this credit repair legal plan, you see everything populated on the screen right now. It covers all of these things. So when we're getting ready to help somebody get credit ready so that they can be mortgage ready, then you can see what kind of things we're able to assist with. You know, we have a lot of things that we can help out with to help get people in place for home ownership. Because remember, our goal is one million families in the next five years to become homeowners. So we're on a mission to get people in credit repair if they need it, and then get them out of there so we can get them to home ownership. If they don't need credit help, then fantastic. We can just go straight to just getting the loan application done, getting them pre-approved, and then getting them into that home. But we want to be able to help them for those people because there are quite a few people that in the process that they want to purchase a home, but they have a few things on their credit that need to be straightened out first. And we want to be able to assist with that. Our credit repair legal plan also is some more benefits right here. You see, we have attorney guided dispute letters. So if there's something on their credit report that needs to be disputed with an attorney, we have that available to them. Again, our goal is 1 million families in the next five years. So we're trying to do whatever we need to do to help get these people in the home ownership. We also have the ability for the utility payment and credit builder reporting. So if they're paying their phone bill on time every month, electric bill on time every month, start reporting those things. And we have access for them to do that so then they can also help boost their credit score that way. And then we have the score simulator and tracker. So if they want to say, if I pay down this account of this amount of money, then this is probably what my credit score would look like then. So there are so many different benefits. A lot of people, even once they're getting in there for credit repair, they stay in the program just because of all it has to offer. And as MLOs, I'll mention that a little bit later, mortgage loan officers, we actually have access to all of this as well. So you'll hear me talk about it a little bit later. As far as how we got started with this whole platform, our co-founder saw the racial inequality in the United States as far as home ownership is concerned. And if you look at these numbers that you see on the screen, 
44% of Black families own homes, 49% of Hispanic families own homes, 60% of Asian families own homes, and 73% of Caucasian families own homes. So you can see from that 40 percentile to the 70 percentile, that's a pretty big number. You don't have to be a mathematician to realize, wow, that's a huge wealth gap there. So our co-founders were dead set that we need to come up with a plan for that. Our goal is 75% home ownership for all. Notice the highest number over here is 73%. So we're trying to exceed that number and make it 75% for everybody. That's our plan. That's our goal. How did that wealth gap even come to be? One word, redlining. Because of redlining, if you're not familiar with redlining, of course, you can Google it, find out about it. But actually, loan officers or lenders drew red lines around certain areas and said, we are not going to give homes to these minorities in these areas. And so that's what that means. In 1934 to 1968, the federal government had a fantastic idea. Let's do 30-year mortgages, low interest rates, so more people can afford homes. So that was a fantastic idea, right? But 98% of those homes went to Caucasian families. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. The problem came when minorities were not able to take advantage of that same opportunity. And then they started to do maps with redlining where you see hazardous here on the map, those pinkish kind of reddish areas. Those were labeled hazardous because minorities live there. And that just meant we're not doing loans in those areas. So that's how that wealth gap came to be so big. So our plan to combat that is to get mortgage loan officers in place. We would love to have one in every community. That's why it says community loan officer at the top here. Our target audience is the low and moderate income families. That's who we're really looking to help. Those people that think, you know, it can't happen for me. I'm not going to be a homeowner. It's just not in the cards for me. Our goal is to try to bring some hope to them and let them know that we're willing to walk with them through this process. We don't have subprime loans. We have standard loans, FHA, VA, USDA, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. We have conventional. And we also have jumbo loans. So if somebody's interested in a $3 million house, we can do that. Our target is just the low to moderate income families. And one thing I really love about our platform is the manual underwriting piece. This separates us from quite a few lenders out there or loan officers out there. When a loan application comes into the system, it's automatically accepted or rejected, depending on what they put on that application. And a lot of times when it's rejected, the loan officer is going to say, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm sorry, sir, we can't help you right now. Get back with us when you get your credit you know, all worked out. Get back with us when you get your finances in order, and then we can you know, look over things again and try it again at that time. What we do is if it's rejected, we pull it to the side. The underwriter is going to go through it with a fine tooth comb. What was the reason it was rejected? Is there something we can do to help? Let's get a game plan in place so that we can help this family to become a homeowner. So I love the manual underwriting piece. It's not just automatically thrown off the table just because it went through the system and the system said no. We love that. And then we also have FHA 203K loans that are available, which are rehab loans. And we can do a loan with a credit score as low as a 580. And we would we kind of would tell them we would love for them to have a higher score so they can get a better interest rate. But, you know, at some point, some people are like, hey, I want my home. You said all I needed was a 580. I finally got to a 580 and I want my home. We would definitely help them at that point to do so. And we can always help them to refinance later when the rates are lower. So what does it look like as a loan officer through this platform? You see two different shades of blue here. The loan buddy is the seasoned loan officer. The seasoned loan officer has been in the business at least 10 years or more. Notice their side, the items on that list are a lot longer than our side. I am a loan officer. If you decide to choose this platform, you would be a loan officer. This is what you would be doing. The first thing says, help the home buyer complete the loan application. You will go through training so you'll understand the loan application. You'll understand the different, not the nine sections. They're different, not sorry, there are nine sections on the loan application. You will be able to know about those different sections so that you can help them along, along the way. And then the second thing, the gathering of documents from the home buyer. Basically, you have a list that's a required list. You can just give that to them, say, hey, we need these documents turned in. If they need help, upload them because they'll have a portal. They can upload the documents themselves. But sometimes people, are not tech savvy, they need some extra help. Sometimes they just keep turning in documents that are just not legible. We can't read them, they cut off part of the corner so we can't see all the account numbers, all those kind of things. So if that happens, we're there to step in as a loan officer to keep this ball rolling, keep this process going, let's get these documents done correctly. And then the third thing says, answer home buyer questions. That's usually the biggest one that people are concerned about. How am I gonna answer home buyer questions if I've never been in this field before or if I've never been in this field to this extent? Well, glad you asked. You'll have the loan buddy to help out, answer those questions so that you can ask the loan buddy and then you can get back with your buyer to answer those 
get those questions answered to them. Also, you have training in your back office, some fantastic training that you will go through so that you will have a lot of information to use and a lot of knowledge because of that. And then as a mortgage loan officer community, we all work together to help each other. We're all right there. We're trying to help each other along the way. We text and chatting throughout the day. What about this particular situation that's come up? Can you Have you seen this kind of thing before? So we all work together to help each other. If your concern would be, how am I going to do this? I know I can't do this by myself. You will not be by yourself. You'll have plenty of help and probably more help than you need. You'll probably say, hey, I got this now. Y'all can kind of back off a little bit. But definitely you'll have plenty of people to help out along the way. And if you happen to be a realtor, or if you happen to know realtors, I love this piece right here. I am a realtor. I'm a real estate broker in Texas. I'm a real estate agent in Alabama. So to me, I love this, of course. As of December 2022, the FHA, Federal Housing Administration, said that as a real estate agent, you can be a real estate agent and you can be a mortgage loan officer and you can be that on the same transaction which means you can come away from the closing table with two checks, not just one check. It says FHA now allows double dipping. We can double dip. That means you can get the, the mortgage loan officer part and the real estate part, both of those. I do tell people as a caveat, check with your broker to see if your broker will allow you to do that on the same transaction. They may say no. If they say no, no problem, because you'll be licensed in 50 states. So you got 49 other states that you can do. And then the state that you live in, you can still be a mortgage on the officer when you're not the realtor on that transaction. So this is a win-win all the way around for realtors on there. So if you know some, share it with them. Most realtors, I guarantee you, if you tell them about it, they're not going to even know about it. If you talk to 10 realtors, maybe two, maybe alert to that new change. And then also as a mortgage loan officer, you'll be able to help families, of course, become homeowners now and you earn commission. You'll be able to help families refinance later when the rates drop and earn commission. And you'll be able to help families buy a new home. Maybe they're ready to get a bigger home. They're ready to get a smaller home. But every time you help, you're earning commission. And so we're saying the rush is on. The reason we're saying that because we're trying to get one million families in homes in the next five years. We're excited about it. We're pumped about it. We're trying to get some people to, in there and, and get them going. So. You see this list here. This is not an exhaustive list, but these are some people in different careers that are already working with us. They have partnered with us in this mission, but we're looking for anybody that has a passion. You have a heart, you have a desire, you want to help the community. You want to be able to do it in a way of home ownership and helping people that way. You want to make an impact and an income. We're looking for those people. So that is what we're gearing it toward right now. And so I've talked about the credit repair part, how we can help with that credit repair legal plan to get people credit ready so they can be mortgage ready. I talked about the loan buddy and the loan officer and how that looks. I even talked about realtors and how realtors can um, gain extra through this platform. Let's talk about the money. We know we want to make a great impact, but we also want to make some great money. So it's, there's great money to be had. But again, it depends on how much work you want to put in. We're not guaranteeing anybody any amounts of money. Through this platform, the commission is 1% to 1.4%. So what does that really mean? Whatever the price of the property is that the, the loan is, you multiply that by 1%. If it's a $250,000 property, the 1% of that would be $2,500. $300,000 property would be $3,000. So it kind of gives you an idea. So let's look at the numbers and how it would actually look through this platform. I did mention that we have a loan buddy. So right, we had to share with them because they're doing most of the work. Remember that light, the light blue slide and the dark blue slide? <laughs> the dark blue slide was really long. They had a lot of things they were doing there trying to help us out. So the first 10 transactions, we get 65% and the loan buddy gets 35%. I still think, wow, that's pretty good because they're doing most of the work, but we're getting most of the pay. I don't. I haven't seen that work that way in any other business. So I, I don't know why it works that way, but I'm just glad it does. And I'm not asking any questions. I'm just saying thank you. The next 10 transactions, we get 75%. The loan buddy gets 25%. And then 21 on up, for most transactions, we get 85% and loan buddy gets 15%. Because now we're probably a little bit faster getting things done. We know exactly how to help people to get through that loan application a little bit quicker. We know how to make sure they get those documents uploaded right instead of all the in illegible documents. We're trying to figure out what's what. And so we're just moving a lot faster. So we're, we're getting more money at that point. But again, remember, the loan buddy is still doing most of the work, but we're getting most of the pay. So when you look at that, it's still it's a win win for us. So let's look at it in numbers. Let's see what the numbers look like. So if you have three families in a month. And at $250,000 price point, your part of that, your commission would be $4,875. That's pretty good. That's just your part, not your loan buddy's part. This 100 BPS or 100 basis points is what that stands for. It just means 1%. 
So again, like I mentioned, the commission is one one percent to one point four percent, and it's just showing what your commission would be if you have three families in that particular month when you're still in that first ten transaction stage. That's some fantastic money, I would say. I would definitely say. I can think of a few things to do with that four thousand dollars. So let's look at this next part here. These are the four different avenues that we can make money through this platform. I do always start this part of it saying, if you can put in the chat, I do not have to build a team. We get people that they come through this program and they're like, okay, I knew I was going to have to try to get this person and get that person. No, you do not. You do not. You can just do strictly MLO. I just want to help somebody get a home loan. I just want to help them to get pre-approved pre and that's it. That is perfectly fine. So as we go through this, I'm just going to share with you these, these next five or six slides, talk about how to build a team if you choose to do so, which again, you don't have to do. This is just extra money to be made. If you say, you know, I don't want to leave any money on the table. I want to make all the, the money I can from this platform while I'm doing the mortgage loan officer part and then the credit repair. And all I just want to do everything. So this is what the next few slides are about. But you do not have to build a team. You will hear me say that quite often. Number one, the active way, of course, you're getting home loans in there. Just active money is coming out. The residual income, you also have that. We know residual bills, we get those all the time, right? Water bill every month, light bill every month. I'm kind of dating myself saying light bill instead of electric bill every month. So, but we can, through this platform, we can get residual income. I love it. And then there are bonus opportunities and also leverage income. Now, when I do say team, just so that you know what I mean by that when I say team, when I say team, I'm meaning that somebody signs up for credit repair. You tell them about it, they wanted to buy a home, but they're not credit ready yet. And you say, we have an awesome credit repair plan. That's a legal plan as well. And we want to sign you up. They sign up, they're on your team. Pretty simple. And of course, in mortgage, it's going to happen quite a bit because people are going to need some credit help. Quite a few people will. The second way somebody can be on your team is if they decide that they want to be a mortgage loan officer. They saw you doing it. Like, I want to do that too. That sounds so fantastic. Then they would be on your team as well. So that's what it means by a team. So if everyone starts off as an advocate, you see the advocate here, the direct commission when somebody signs up for credit repair is $45. You automatically, they sign up, you're going to see $45 in your back office. You get paid every Friday on this side of the platform. But again, this is not something you even have to do. You can do like the little kids do when they don't want to hear what somebody's saying and you put your fingers in your ears and you say, la, 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 la. You can do that on these next few slides if you don't want to hear about the team part of it and we can carry on. But after I finish this team part slide, then you can get back to the rest of it with us. But if somebody decides they want to sign up as a mortgage loan officer, you also get $45 in your back office right then. And again, depending on where you, what your rank is as to how much you would get. If you're a team advocate, that means you have three people on your team. That means you have three people in credit repair. You have three people that want to be mortgage loan officers, or you have some kind of combination of that. That's all that means. And so, of course, there's more money to be had, the more personal enrollees that you have. I mentioned residual income. This is what that would look like. The person signed up for credit repair. Then that very next month, it was time for them to make that $89.95 payment again. Then you're getting residual income because when they pay, now you're getting paid. They paid before. You got the big amount. You got the $45. Now you're getting $14 as an advocate. And depending on what your rank is, as of what you would get at this time. But again, you don't even have to do this part. It's just, just letting you know what other money could be made through this platform if you choose to do so. One, This is one I really do like, the accelerator bonus. And again, you don't have to do this, but y'all, this is some some quick money to be made and gives you a very quick return on your investment. I'm just saying you start with the program. You say, I want all in. I want to do everything I can to get all the money I can. I'm not leaving any money on the table. You get three people in the first three weeks. Your direct commission is going to be $135 because that's at 45 people times three. So you got the direct commission, but the company says, wow, we appreciate you going fast. Here's an extra $150 for going fast. Pretty good, right? <laughs> and then let's say you get another three people in the next three weeks. You get $159 because now your rank has gone up because, you know, you have more people. So your rank has gone up. So you got the direct commission. And then the company says, thank you for going fast. We're going to give you another $150. And then you get four people in the last four weeks. That's 10 people in 10 weeks. The company says they're going to give you an extra $200 and you get your direct commission of $236 because your rank has also gone up. And again, the company's like, thank you. You're going fast. Our goal is 1 million families in the next five years. We're trying to reach that goal and you're on the way helping us to do so. So we want to reward you. And then if you have people come in underneath you, they would be a, you would be their sponsor because you were instrumental in them coming into the platform. Then you also get paid when they enroll somebody. But again, you don't have to do any of this part if you don't want to. You can say, I'm not into all of that extra stuff. I don't want to do that. 
um, the basically set up like a brokerage. You have the broker and you have the agents, the real estate agents, and then the agents make money. And then the broker is going to get some of that money from the agent. So same type of thing. But if you say, hey, that's not, I'm not in all that. Just keep your fingers in your ears just for one more slide. And then we'll be through with the team part. So we have a housing incentive, which I also love very much. If you decide, again, I'm going all in. I don't want to leave any money on the table. I'm coming in. I'm going to build a team. I want to, you know, whatever I need to do, I want to be get to a director status. You get to a director status, you're going to get a housing bonus of $400 every month. And depending on you know what your rank is, you'll get more of that, up to $1,500 a month. So that just lets you know that that's available because this is a housing platform. The co-founder said we've got to have some kind of housing incentive to say we're thankful we appreciate what you're doing and helping homeowners and helping people become homeowners. Because if you've gotten to one of these statuses, you've helped a lot of people at this point. So let's look at what a traditional mortgage loan officer does. This is what most people know about. I also love talking about this slide. I think I just love talking about all of them because I just love this company. So the traditional route is the state route, the way most people know about a, home, a loan officer. And that's usually when I post on social media and I'll say that you don't have to take an exam. I'm going to get somebody to say, no, that's a scam. You just, you, that's wrong. You have to take an exam. I know in the state of Texas, I know in the state of Alabama, I know in the state of Arkansas, whatever the state is, they're going to say, I know you have to take an exam. Well, if you're talking about the state side, yes, you are definitely correct. You do have to take an exam. You have to go through the pre-licensing courses. You got to pass the licensing exam, which is that safe exam, like $110. And a lot of people don't pass the first time, so you're paying a lot more than that trying to get past it. And then complete the annual renewal and continuing education classes. And then that was just for one state. So then you want to do another state, you got to do all that all up again. Y'all, there are 50 states. So that's a lot of states to, to, try to, <laughs> to try to pass and to try to pay money for and to spend all that time. And then on top of that, on the state side, on the traditional side, you also have to have a minimum credit score most time to even be applied for a mortgage on officer position. So if you know your credit score is in the five, like 500, it's like 520. It's no need to take a pre-licensing course until you get your credit scores up because you're not about to get hired for most uh, places with, as a mortgage loan officer because of your credit. So that's the state side. And you, the state side, if you decide, you know, I want to try that and I want to try to get licensed in all 50 states on the state side, it's going to be a minimum of $25,000, upwards of $50,000 because each state has a you know little different fee. So that's a lot of money to be trying to be licensed. That's why if you know some state loan officers, they're not licensed in all 50 states for the most part. They may be licensed in two or three, even up to 10 or something, but they're not all, all 50 because of the money and the time that is spent. So what we're saying is go the better route, go our route. And it's not just our route, it's the federal route. When you go to the nationwide mortgage licensing system, that's what kind of the, the site that houses all the mortgage loan officers where all the ID numbers and the, the licenses are kept. Then you go there, then it's going to say state or federal. You can click on one of those. We're saying click on federal. And then you sign up with us as a federal mortgage loan officer. You receive training in your back office. In the back office, you'll have videos. The videos, you, just, you can do them at your own pace, which is fantastic. We get some people, they just say, I'm like, I'm just getting it done right now. I'm going to get it done. I just have somebody that just got onboarded and it actually took her one week from, from uh, yesterday that she signed up and she's now licensed in all 50 states just that fast because she was just really on top of things and got things done. So receive the training, then you do background checks. There are two background checks through this. So if you kind of wonder, this could be a scam, I'm not having to have to take an exam. You're getting two background checks. <laughs> this is not, this is for real. So the first background check is through Capital Federal Credit Union. That's who we work for. The second background check is through the Nationwide Mortgage Licensing System, the NMLS. So, and then you also have to get your fingerprints done. And so two background checks, fingerprints, and then we're working for a federal credit union. So if you're kind of thinking, I was wondering if that was legitimate, that hopefully that should ease your mind because y'all know the Fed does not play. And we're getting two background checks, fingerprints, and we're working for a federal credit union. At that point, you'll be able to originate loans in all 50 states. And we do have a long no list. And most of the time people don't like no, but we love this no list. There is no state licensing test. There's no state licensing fees. There are no continued education requirements. So the list really is true. There, are, this is this is a no list. You do not have to take an exam through the federal program. The state program, yes, you do every time for every state, and you may have to have a minimum credit score to even be a mortgage loan officer. But through this federal platform, you sign up with us, receive training, get your background and fingerprints done. You're able to originate loans. You do not have to take a test. I still get people that ask me at the end of taking their training, doing the videos. 
They'll say, so now, Miss Michelle, I'm going to take the test. No, there is no test. It's fantastic news. There is no test. Why is it so different from the state and the federal? We don't know. It's just two different programs. We have had one mortgage loan officer to ask the NMLS system, why is why don't more people not go the federal route then? And she said, because the state loses money when people go the federal route. So they just don't mention this federal route to people because the state wants to, of course, get their money. So that's what we've heard. How true that is, I don't know, but that's just what she was told when she talked with the nationwide mortgage licensing system. So we said it could be a minimum of $25,000 on the traditional side if you decide to go the state route. If you go our route, $249.90, you're going to be licensed in two to four weeks in all 50 states. And we're talking, and yet 25,000 on the other side, we're talking basically 250 on this side. That is like drastic, y'all. And I'm just so excited about this program. Uh, actually, it's $399.90, but we do have a promo code for now that makes it $249.90. We're just using this promo code as long as corporate allows us to do it. We're going to keep using that promo code until they say, you know, that's the end of it now. And then it really is the $399 price. So you would pay the $249.90 to get started. That's going to get you your back office so that you'll have access to the training. You, and you're good to go at that point. The other money you would have to pay to get your background check and NMLS fee, that would be $66.25. That would go directly to the NMLS system. That does not go to our company, does not go to Own Easy, as I mentioned at the very beginning, is the name of the company. So, the two forty nine ninety goes to on easy. The sixty six dollars and twenty five cents goes to the NMLS system, and you're ready to go up. Be ready to get going. Now, I did mention at the very beginning that we do have a credit repair legal plan. That as mortgage on officers, we're all we're automatically we have that too. We get that if the same benefits as they get. So that's the eighty nine ninety five a month. Now you can't choose to say you know I don't want to do that. That's fine. Let me show you what that eighty nine ninety five is doing we talked about the credit repair part so you get all of that but you also get more than the credit repair people get on that legal plan side there are more opportunities here but again you can decide you know i, I just want to do the. i just want to get people pre-approved and get them be you know be a mortgage on option get that part done that's it that's fine one a couple of things i want to share off of this because there are so many different benefits here but you not only would you be a nationwide mortgage loan officer in all 50 states but you see here, you would be a title representative in all 50 states. You know, you go to a title company and they look up titles and they escrow and people go there to get their clothes and done for the houses. You would be a title representative in all 50 states. We're actually getting ready to roll out more about that. We have a convention coming up February 24th. It's coming up pretty soon. And they're going to give us more information on that. And everybody will go through training on that as well. No extra money involved. This will be a part of what you get with that $89.95, that'd be part of it. But again, you don't have to do that part. You can decide, you know, I really don't care about that. And that's fine. But I also have home warranty services that are coming soon that you'll be able to offer people a home warranty and you get $50 every home warranty that you give to somebody. And then the title services I didn't mention is 20% commission for, for the title services that you would be able to earn when you're a title representative. You cannot be a title representative and an MLO on the same transaction but there'll be plenty of opportunities to do both depending on when you're not one or on the other. And then there's also no university and investors opportunity that you can be a part of as well. Again, you can, after three months, we get it for free. It's a $1,500 course, but we get it for free. And then, so that's up to you to decide on that. You can also offer that to people and get $250 if they decide that they want to, to purchase that as well. And then there's health insurance, low to no cost health insurance. I have Cigna through this platform. I pay $0 a month. I pay $26.35 for Dell and Vision. So that's something to look at too, if you're interested in that. And there are a lot of other opportunities that are just coming our way. Like I said, we're getting ready to have a whole lot more to, to roll out very soon before the end of the month. And then if you decide, you know, I still want everything. I want to go ahead and do the $89.95 a month. I want everything that this program has offered. Then if you get five people in the program, that your $89.95 is waived. You don't have to pay that at all as long as you maintain five people in the program. And for most people, that's very easy because you're going to come across in this mortgage business, you're going to come across at least five people that need mortgage or uh, they need credit help in order to get mortgage ready. But again, this is not something that you have to do. You can choose just to do strictly MLO. I just like to make sure I say that many times so that people know that that's an, op an opportunity for them or an option for them to choose. So whoever invited you to this platform, I would just uh, let you know, please get back with them and tell them thank you for letting me find out about this federal program that I knew nothing about before now. Or maybe I knew a little bit, but I wanted some more information about it. Get back with them. Let them know, hey, I'm ready to sign up. 
or hey, I have some more questions about this because I may want to sign up. I'm not sure. Or maybe you know somebody else that may be interested in this platform. We'd be glad to help out any way we can to get you into finding out more about it or signing up with us. Again, our goal is 1 million families in the next five years. I want to say thank you for taking out time on the Saturday. I know people can have busy Saturdays and lots of things to do, but you've given up 30 minutes of your life to be here to hear about this platform. And I do appreciate it because our goal is to educate people and let them know it's out there, whether it's for you or not. We at least want you to know it's available and it's out there. Have Enjoy the rest of your Saturday and get back with whoever invited you if you want more information or you say, you know, I'm just I'm just ready to sign up. Take care.